morning. Not quite on time. Well, not far behind. Let's get rid of this stupid thing. Right. We're going to do one weight workout. So you need a weight or tin of beans, bottle of water. Doesn't have to be an actual weight. But what weight am I going to have? I think I'm going to try and commit to four kilos. That's what I'm going to try and commit to. So I'll just give you a little preview of the exercise you're going to do for those who've got a selection of weights and wondering, well, which one shall I use? <laughs> um, we've got five exercises, four of them with one weight, and one of them is a plank. So our first exercise is going to be. <laughs> has fallen over. <laughs> Do you know what? I feel so wobbly. I hope the warm up sorts that out. <laughs> right, that's, that's your first one. Then we've got wood chop knee. We've done all these loads of times. Next one we'll be doing is a squat rotate with a bit of a push. And if you wanted to, instead of using the dumbbell, you could throw a fist. <laughs> well, Leslie will do that. Uh, and then the last way with a weight is your bent over row or fly, which looks like this. That's the row. And that's the fly. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. You might also want a mat for your plank. I don't know why I'm pointing there. There is no mat there. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to check that the audio doesn't sound too horrible. So, one of the reasons why I was a bit last minute was I didn't realise I took the iPad out last night. And it, do you know what? I need, I've got two iPads here. I need to set things up. I'm trying not to rely on having two. I need to set up so I'm using one. And then I can use the other one elsewhere. <laughs> Inviting everyone, feel free to have a wiggle. In fact, you know what? Do me a march, and I'm up for the lights on either. <laughs> so I'm prepared. All right, from your march, just bring it to a pedal, everyone. I'll put some lights on. Got a lot of contrast on today. Bright sunshine. It's freezing outside though. I have been out. Or get something out of my car on the doors. Right. There I am. Just need to share. Sharing is caring. Still marching. <laughs> right, I found the share button now. Really, what I should do is I should nominate someone who comes to the live to do the sharing. Share to a group, there we are. Share to Prime. Are you still pedaling? Why not do a march instead? Going out and down. I'm not going out today. Right, that'll have to do. I'm done with that. When you can, just do me a step out. Step out, step in, yeah? So all you're doing is you're putting all the weight into one leg. That's a lie. If you're putting all the weight into one leg, 
you'd be stood on one leg, wouldn't you? Yeah. Almost. You just bring your weight over. Yeah, bring your weight over. That's it. Make sure you got your heel pressed down. So it's not a tap, it's full foot down. Couple more. Brilliant. Let's bring it to a march, everyone. Can I get you to roll your shoulders? Yes. And then when you can, circle an elbow. Looking good. A few more, a few more. Brilliant. Now, can you circle above your head? That's it. And again, a couple more. Brilliant. Do me a heel dig in front, yeah? Just press away in front. That's it. And again, again. Okay, now we're going to slow the dig down, yeah? So you're going to go dig and again. So really stick your bum out behind. Have a say good morning to everyone. Say good morning to Jill. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning, Jean. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning, Tam Tam. Welcome from YouTube. Don't get many people from YouTube. Can we slow down again? And again. Again, couple more. Brilliant. Step out to the side. Good morning, Anna Marie. <laughs> You're going to join in or you're just going to laugh at me? <laughs> okay, we're going to add a hinge watch. I'm going to step out, hinge over, hinge back. Watch it from the side. Step out, hinge over, hinge back. Try it again. It's out. Stick your out behind. And again. That was so funny to see you last night, Anna Marie. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? And again. Brilliant. Heel dig in front, yeah? Press away in front. And again, now if you want to, this heel dig can become a flick kick, yes? You just kick away in front. And when we flick, you're gonna use your knee and your hip, yeah? So you've got your hip moving and your knee moving. What about throwing a punch? Who do you want to punch? Not a person, just a concept. <laughs> Keep kicking. Brilliant. Step out and hinge. Step out, hinge over, hinge back. So if you're trying to create a flat back, but only two more, and then we're going to change it again. One more time. Listen, watch the change. Hinge, then sit. So I go out, hinge, sit down, drive up slowly. Do it again. Go out, hinge, sit down, drive up slowly. Put it all together and it goes out and in, yeah? So you are simultaneously hinging and sitting. And again, doesn't have to be very big, just a little one, yes? Looks good. I look really dark for me. <laughs> okay, flick kick. It's up to you, yeah? If you prefer, if you feel a bit wobbly, just go back to heel digger. Yeah? Looks good. Brilliant. Few more, few more. Excellent. Let's swap, yeah? And again. And again, well done. Okay, have a little look at the next change. I'm going to squat out. I'm going to stay here, down and up. Yeah? Okay, have a little look at the next change. I'm going to go down. I'm going to come up. I'm going to rotate. Yeah? So go down, up, rotate. I've got to confess, this new flooring I've got is not so good on the rotating aspect. Quite hard to pivot my foot. <laughs> But anyway, we're doing the best we can. Brilliant. I'm going to do one last one of these. Now, when you can, bring it to a curl, yeah? There's no rush. <laughs> Keep curling. What about a little pull and push? And again, that's it. So just trying to move a few joints, get a little bit warmer. Then we'll get our single weight, whether it's a dumbbell, tin of beans, bottle of water, whatever you've got. I think I might be going lighter now. <laughs> All right, flick kick last time, yes? Woo, and again. That's it, well done. Brilliant. Can you do me eight more? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, just a march. Okay, so we're gonna set the timer. Feel free to grab a little drink. Oh, can I brag by the way? Uh, I'm going to come right up to the camera for maximum effect. I've not had a coffee today. Not one coffee. <laughs> 
not one coffee have I had. All right, we're gonna slow the music down. I've got no idea how slow it is. No glasses on. Get the timer on. So we've got five exercises. We're gonna do each exercise for 45 seconds. You'll need a weight or an imaginary weight and maybe a mat for your plank, yeah. Depends what you've got underneath your feet. Starting session. Okay, so for the first exercise, put your weight in your right hand. <laughs> Take a step behind with your right leg. Lift your right heel up. Just gonna go down and up and again. There's a magpie on the neighbor's balcony there. And it's really funny. Because, anyway, I won't tell you. <laughs> I'll get on with this. So, the other arm can be out here, can be on your hip, can be behind you. Now, you don't have to change anything. This is it, yeah? Or if you want to, bring the weight to your shoulder, yes? And again. Now, if you like, go down, drive up. So, you're breaking the weight down, then you press it up. And again. Looks good. Woo. Okay, so next exercise is the wood chop knee. I'm actually not even going to do a knee. You can start at the right shoulder and chop to my left hip. Yeah. So pull the weight down. That's it. Looking good. So right shoulder to left hip. Brilliant. And again. So you could stay with this. Or if you want to. Pick the knee up, yes. And again. Uh. Now, if you want to go a little bit further, this you can take the weight up higher. You can apply more force, but just a little shout out to the delicate back people and maybe the people with bone density issues. Don't go too daft. You might want to keep your ranging movement more moderate and your force more moderate. Otherwise, really chop the wood. <laughs> oh, okay, next one's your wide squat with a rotate, yeah? You can hold the weight this way around, or this way around, by the way. Just hold the weight however's happy for you. So, I'm going to take the feet wide, I'm going to do a squat, I'm going to stand, I'm going to rotate. So, essentially, we practice this one Work. in the warm up. Yeah, I'll just have to get on with, <laughs> with the fact that. I find it quite hard to twist my feet on this floor. Well, that, I quite like it. You won't want it for Zumba or anything like that. Ooh. Now, if you want to, see if you can rotate, push, pull, rotate back. Yep. Rotate, push, pull, rotate back. Looking good. Ooh. Last one, I reckon. Last one, oh, that's the last one. <laughs> All right, bent over row or bent over fly. So, split stance, left foot forward, right leg behind, yeah? Both heels on the floor, stick your bum out behind, support your body weight on your left thigh, just lean on the thigh. Then you weights in your right hand and you're gonna row from here, yeah? Pull up. Now, if the weight feels really light, instead of a row, try a fly. So with a fly, your elbow's lengthened and you go out to the side. With a row, you're going to bend your elbow, keep your elbow really close to your rib cage. Listen, if your back gets tired while you bend over, stand up periodically and then do it again. Yeah, So you could do maybe two or three and then you could hinge back up and stand tall again. Yeah, Looking good. Must be nearly there by now. We are. <laughs> All right, it's plank time. So I'm happy Rest. to do my plank on this floor. Feel free to get your mat. Bring yourself to hands and knees initially, yeah? So I want you to be a coffee table. Make sure your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Glue your toes to the floor and straighten your knee. Now, if you miss that, look up and watch again. I'm going to use the same leg again. I've glued the toes to the floor, I've straightened the knee. And then I'm going to do the other side. 
So I'm not actually sending the foot backwards, the foot's staying where it is. It's the knee that's straightening. Now once you've mastered that, see if you can straighten one knee and then straighten the other knee and there you are, you're in a plank. And then you might want to put one knee down and the other knee down. Listen, if you don't like this plank, you can do any plank that is your preference, yeah? I'm not asking you to stay here a long while. May well be, oh, that's the end, that's a shame. May well be you're only good for two seconds. To buy complete. <laughs> Once you've done your plank up, right kneeling, stepping forward, we've got 30 seconds of recovery, and then we're gonna do it all again. <laughs> so, a little drink, if you want a little drink. I should probably have had more of a drink. And then we're gonna do everything left side leading, if there's a leading side. So you're gonna need your weight in your left hand. Big step behind with your left leg. Now for this one, you do want your back heel lifted. I'm gonna start with the weight at my side, just going down and up, yeah? So, you can stay with this. You can have your arm out to the side. You can have your hand on your hip. It's up to you. Where are you happy to be? Okay, now what about bring the weight to the shoulder, driving the weight up. And again, that's it. Looks good. And again, brilliant. Ooh. A few more seconds if you can. And by the way, don't worry if you feel wobbly when you do stuff like that. It's designed to make you wobbly. You've got to fight the wobble. All right, wood chop left to right. So you're going to start at the left shoulder, chop to the right hip. Yeah, left shoulder, right hip. Ooh. So listen, if you didn't have a weight for this, all you do is clasp your hands. Yeah, work like that. Your choice. Now, once you're happy, you could, if you choose to, pick your knee up as well, yeah? And then remember you've got the other option to take the weight higher, higher above your shoulder and pull down with more force if it's appropriate for you. May well be that you need to look after your back a bit more or maybe your bones. Yeah. Woo. Looking good. All right, so uh, it's why it's quite rotate. I'm holding mine the other way around. You don't have to. <laughs> so we're taking the feet wide because it's wide as well. We're going to go down, come up, we're going to rotate, push, pull. I want you to remember to do the push and pull separate from the rotate. In other words, make sure you've completed the rotate before you push and pull. Make sure you finish your push, pull before you rotate back. Excellent. A few more if you can. Remember you're pivoting on your foot, turning your knee in, so you don't twist your knee too much. The twist is at the hip. That's where we want it. Last one. Okay, bent over row. Weights in the right, sorry, left hand. Step behind with your left foot. Both feet flat to the floor on this one, yeah? So you're gonna hinge over, body weight resting on your thigh, and then row, yeah? So remember what we said, if you've got quite a light weight, the row might be a bit easier. <laughs> In which case, try a fly. So fly goes out to the side with a lengthened elbow. The row, you bend the elbow and keep the elbow close to your rib cage. Remember what I said about giving the back a bit of a breather? Yeah, hinge up and then bring it back again whenever you're ready, yeah. Make sure whichever version you're doing, you're using your shoulder blade, not just swinging your torso. You'll try and use the scapula in your back. Last three, two, one. I don't think you heard that, but it's a big Rips. long horn. All right, it's plank time. All right, so we've learned how to set up a perfect plank. And you can do that plank setup job just as you did before, 
straight in one knee, straight in the other knee. Hold briefly, put your knees down and repeat. Or could you hold it here for the maximum time? So maximum time might be 10 seconds, might be 15, might be 25, could be 35. It might be 45, but it won't be 55 because there's only 45 seconds on the clock. That's halfway. Think what you've done, could you do it again? If needs be, put your knees down, start again. Make sure you always start with hands under shoulders, knees underneath hips. And then if you do that straight knee thing, you'll have your best, most perfect alignment. Last few seconds, anyone shaking yet? Three, two, one. Knees are down. Upright knee loom. Step forward. So we're halfway there, living on a prayer. <laughs> Okay, feel free to grab a little drink. I think I want one. Definitely need one. All right, so get ready for split lunge shoulder press. <laughs> Weights in your right hand. So this time I'm gonna go straight to the shoulder, but remember you can keep the weight by your thigh. Then once I've got it at my shoulder, I'm gonna go down, drive it up. Yeah. So think of using your legs to take the weight down and using your legs to take the weight up. So what I'm not doing is down up, shoulder press. I'm going down, pressing up, using the legs, driving from the bottom of the lunge. Yeah? It's not a lunge and a press, it's all one continuous movement. <laughs> all right, wood chop knee again. Yeah, so bring your weight to your right shoulder, chop to your left knee. Yeah. Then if you're happy to, pick your left knee up. Ooh. So right shoulder, left hip, increase the range of movement if it's appropriate for you. So we're thinking bulging discs and delicate bones might not want to have the extra force, might not want to have the extra range of movement. You choose, that's halfway. Could you go faster? Quite frankly, I can't. This is it, this is my pace. <laughs> Last few seconds. Seven to go, I reckon. Not reps, seconds. Three, two, one. Okay. Why it's got rotate? You can hold either way around. So, take your feet wide. Sit down, stand up. Now, when you rotate, one push pull. Yeah. When you rotate next time, could you do me two push pulls? When you rotate next time, could you do me three push pulls? Let's see if we can get four in before we run out of time. Yeah, this is going to be the last one we do four. I'm going to go back to singles. So I don't want to end up doing five on one side and none on the other. <laughs> one reps out is okay. All right, bent over row. Weight back in your right hand. So we said, right leg behind, both heels down. You got your hinge, you got your forearm on your thigh, and then you row. So remember, if the row feels a bit easy, swap it out for a fly. All depends what weight you've got. Yeah. And when your back gets tired, if your back gets tired, hinge back up, little breather, and then join in again, yeah? Try always to be in control. Try not to fling. No blinging. I see the magic dust sprinkled on the symbol. I swear the other day I saw a light slow down. And in the gap there was a world without colours. 
Last set. Last reps. Okay, it's plank time again. So, we've done the setup, knee straight thing. We've done a hold thing. Now, if you found the hold quite easy, then we can add more. If you find it a challenge, please don't add any more, yeah? Okay. I'm gonna bring it to my full plank. I'm gonna bring my right hand central underneath my sternum, inwards. Then I'm gonna turn my feet, my knees, my hips, and I'm gonna rotate here. Now I'm only gonna do this side, so maybe I'll hold it for a count of three, and I'm gonna bring it back. Maybe I'll put my knees down and have a breather, but then I'm gonna do my right hand again, yeah? So, perfect plank. Right hand central, turn the feet, the knees, the hips, the chest. Take your hand up, hold it. Could you hold it to the end of time? Infinity and beyond, that's the end of time. <laughs> Rotate back, knees down, all right, nearly. So obviously, we'll do the other side next time. Make sure you know which hand you use. I use my right hand for support. Little drink if you need one, and then we've got one more time to go. <laughs> I've done that dreadful thing where despite getting up fairly early I've got absorbed into something else and then discovered I'm live in 10 minutes and I'm not set anything up <laughs> left leg behind lift your back heel weight at the shoulder can you drive it up so remember your other options you can just keep the weight at the shoulder go down and up yeah you can just keep the weight at the side, down and up. You can have a rest if you want to, little march, anytime. Woo. And again, looks good, brilliant. A few more of these, we're nearly there. Woo. Okay. Next exercise, wood chop knee. So weight is going to your left shoulder, right hip. So again, this is your base move. You might just want to stay with this. If you can, pick your knee up. And if you want to, take the weight higher, pull down with more force. I know I keep saying it. Think about your back, think about your bones. What's right for you, okay? If you want to just really go for it, <laughs> then do. Just bear in mind what you know. That's halfway. Could you go faster on the second half? Yeah. Looking good. Fantastic. Breathe easy. We're nearly there. Three, two, one. All right, it's wide squat, rotate. I'm putting the weight down, I'm gonna punch. Yeah? It's up to you. Here's my squat, here's my punch. So you just start with your fists on guard, throw a punch. Then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do what we did last time. I'm gonna start and add some numbers on. So I'm gonna come down, two punches. Yeah? And remember, I'm not the person to coach for a punch. <laughs> so we've got any martial artists watching, people that are properly qualified. Kelly McPhee, I'm looking at you. <laughs> Karen, looking at you. All the uh, body combat teachers, sorry. <laughs> I've just been doing twos. <laughs> I've got so carried away with apologising for my rubbish punches. <laughs> We're going to bend over row, everyone. That I forgot to do three, four, and five reps. Anyway, maybe you did. Maybe you did the weights. I don't mind. Split stance, heels down, hinge over. Here's the row. Yeah. Look at it from the side if you're not sure. We're rowing. Okay. If you like, fly. Here's your fly. Excellent, looking good. Mm -hmm. 
Remember, if your back gets tired, you hinge up, you have a little breather, and then you join in again. Make sure you're using your scapula, that's your shoulder blade behind you, <laughs> rather than just flinging your torso. All right, come on, it's this last plank. Now, I'm gonna turn around just so you can see better. You don't need to, but be aware that if you did the side plank with me last time, we were right hand supported. So make, take the time and trouble to make sure you've got a perfect coffee table. Then you can do your knee straighten, and this might be as far as you want to go. If you're happy to, left, left hand is central. Always start by turning your feet, then your knees, then your hips, then your chest. Take your hand up, hold it. Remember, you might be holding for a small time, or you might be holding a little while longer. You might want to put your knees down and have a breather between each one, yeah. Or maybe you're still holding it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna try and hold it here, infinity and beyond. Keep holding if you can, rest if you need to. Anyone shaking? I am. <laughs> Rotate back, knees down. Session. Oh, upright kneeling, step forward, drive up. When you get here, little pedal. Brilliant. Just focus on your breathing, everyone. If you've still got your weight in your hand, no, you won't have your weight in your hand. We didn't use weights for weights, did we? Oh, man. Just ignore me. Little pedal. We're just going to release the back a little bit more. Can I get you to tuck under and tuck back? So your imaginary tail tucks between your legs, yeah? Imagine your pelvis and tucking your pelvis under and back. That's it. And again, a few more. Brilliant. All right, let's circle the hips. Doesn't matter which way you go. Excellent. Circle the other way. Excellent. Okay, bring it back to a pedal. So we're just going to catch our breath. Couple of stretches. Try not to run off. Can I get you to just do me a very gentle little curl? This is just a dynamic stretch for the front of your thigh. Yeah? So if you want to, you can stay with a dynamic stretch. Or if you feel happy to, all the way on one leg, any leg you like, bring your heel in and just try and keep your knees close. If you struggle to achieve this, go back to little curls. That's what we're there for. <laughs> all right, swap arms, swap legs. All the way on the other leg. Bring your other heel. That's it. Excellent. Okay, just press your heel to the floor in front of you. Draw your toes up to your shin. Just get a stretch down the back of the leg. Excellent. And then roll it up. All the heel, all the bottom goes upwards and behind. Draw your other toes to your shin. All right, let's roll it up. Just do me a little rotate, yeah? So you're just twisting, head, shoulders, hips move, knee turns in, heel lifts. A couple more. Let's do one more in each direction. Last one. Excellent. All right, we're gonna do a chest stretch and then we're really done, everyone. Bring your fingertips to the side of your head, squeeze your elbows back, open up your chest. All right, give your shoulders a roll. Lift this one, lift this one. <laughs> I'm gonna end it all from over here. Any questions, do ask, don't be shy. Um, hope to see some of you in class on Monday, Monday morning in your lounge, Monday evening in dry house. So thank you to Jill. Love to see you rocking up for the Saturday lives. <laughs> um, I'm not sure about next Saturday. Don't plan your life around next Saturday morning because it's bank holiday weekend. Right, I'm sending it in now. I'm committing to doing my accounts next weekend. I might have the table out. <laughs> yes, well done on the chair plank, Leslie. Well done, well done, well done. Excellent, good job. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> yeah, I've been teaching a chair plank this week, so if anyone wants to see that, let me know. It means you can do a plank without having to get down to the 
floor and struggle back up again. All right then, I really am ending it all right now. Bye everyone, happy weekend.